Hey guys, <clears throat> um, back to value investing. I want to tell you about a, a company that I had invested in. Um, I don't currently own any any shares right now, but just to show you an example of what value investing is. Um, and this is my personal opinion. This is not financial advice. I'm not telling you to go out and buy this company today. Um, this is Dallas News Corporation. They're like a newspaper. The market cap is $23 million. $23 million. Now, when I invested in it, they actually made they were profitable right, right now it looks like they're not profitable but they're paying a crazy dividend right now they're paying a uh, 64 cent uh, dividend um, and one reason for that is it's, it's falling quite a bit but I just want to <clears throat> give you an example I don't know why that thing keeps playing all right, so the market cap is $23 million, right? All right, let's, let's just look at and take these things with a grain of salt. You need to go to the sec.gov website, go to filings, company filings, and look at, look at the last quarter and the yearly and stuff to get the, the, ac the, the most accurate um, results. But... Gosh, I don't know what in the heck, what in the world, but um, look right here at the balance sheet. Now granted, now granted they got $18 million of debt, but what I'm looking at is the cash here. They got more cash than the company's even worth right now the the cash is 20 almost 26 million and the market cap is 23 million so when you see things like this and and like i said when i had invested um with this company uh i was mainly for the i was mainly for the dividend but to me, they were basically <clears throat> valuing the value of the company at zero. Um, I mean, like I said, the market cap's twenty-three million, and and you know they got uh, twenty-six million in cash. So <clears throat> let, let's pretend, let's pretend that they didn't have any debt and the debt was zero, and you know at that point you could. Uh, basically buy the whole company uh, and and make a profit just by the cash on hand um, but anyway when you see things like that like this sometimes it's, it's um, time to uh, you know take a second look at it and um, as you can see, you know the <clears throat> the 52 range has been really wild, 3.7 to 8.4. So, you know, definitely uh, some some chances to um, to make some money. You know, let's just say <clears throat> you had bought it at uh, four dollars and had a let's say you had a thousand shares. Um, and then it goes to five dollars, you know. Well, then, then, then you got a a dollar a dollar a share, you know. You got a a thousand dollar profit. But anyway, like I said, I'm not telling you to invest in this company. And like I said, the earnings are negative right now. But when I had invested in it, they were positive, and I think that um, anyway. This is just an example of sometimes there's uh, a company that has more cash than than what the the market cap is. But like I said, this company has debt, so 
I was just using this as an, as an example. 